Champions League. It's Richard against Jason. We'll start with Richard. Chelsea are going to go furthest. They've been there or thereabouts for the past few seasons and now they've got a manager who's actually won the Champions League before. They'll be relishing the prospect of facing Mourinho in the next round. People have been saying, yeah, you've got a tough draw, but you've got to beat everybody at the end of the day. Drogba and the African Nations of Cup boys will be back for the next qualifying round, so that won't be a problem. Drogba and Anelka dovetailing brilliantly now. They're going to score a bag full of goals. They're going to be in the running for the Premier League title and they're just going to be on a roll. Jason? He was going to argue. He looks convinced, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I believe him, yeah. <laughs> no, I just think, well, you've got to get past the next round, haven't you? And I think Chelsea have got Inter. I think Mourinho will plan their downfall. I think Manchester United have got AC. AC have got a proven record in this competition. And Arsenal have got Porto and can play the reserves and will beat them. So Arsenal will go forward. Even if Arsenal don't win it, they'll get further than Man United. They'll get through the next round. Yeah, but that's it. I thought if Van Persie had stayed fit, then they might have won a couple of cups this year, Arsenal. But without that, they've just not got the depth for me. Yeah, right. That's true. We will end there then. Uh, we will go in the final. It was a very, very harmonious Christmas fest. <laughs> I know. Christmas spirit filled rant, wasn't it? We will go finally. I think we'll do Richard against Ian. You can have a little Thanks. breath. I oh, know, you just looked at me like you didn't want to do the one. <laughs> so, uh, right, uh, we will do uh, Richard first. Who is your player of the decade? Uh, most influential player? It can be outside the Premiership. Ronaldo, without a shadow of a doubt. He's the epitome of what a 21st century footballer is. You know, people were saying he was a show pony a few years ago, but he's gone and worked at his game. He's now the finished article. You can kick him all day long, but he'll keep getting up and bang that 25-yard free kick in the top corner. Oh, you know, I kick him, he won't. He can change the game in an instant, and there aren't many players in the world who can do that. Influence, the biggest area of influence Ronaldo has is international gel sales. <laughs> <laughs> and fake tan. Who's your player, then? Well, you see, you can go, Ronaldo's too obvious. He's in the Zid Dean Zidane's, all of that. Scott Carson. <laughs> a, man, a man has never been introduced no, to a pot ahead. <laughs> let, no, let me explain. Yeah, I, I know like where it. you're coming from here. I like it. See, right, if Scott Carson hadn't done that howler against uh, Croatia, yeah. we might have qualified, we'd have kept McLaren and we'd still be rubbish. Right. He let the ball in, McLaren was sacked, we employed Capello, we're now one of the top sides in the world and it's all down to Scott Carson's influence. I've changed my tune, I'm right. Do you know what? <laughs> Everybody in this studio is like nodding, I think very cool. We well argued. Well argued. That's the best well argument I think we've it? ever had on the show, yeah. Well done, Ian I definitely wins. We had a few